these um these two have <clears throat> mystified each other and now it is Jez Bailey who is on top of about 500,000 the tide has definitely turned No smile, just focus. He knows it's not over yet. Yeah, he's never been okay, so close. From Jonathan Scally's point of view, it's just trying to grind the wheels back to turn. A couple of ways to play this hand. Oh. Just no to pussy foot around with the willows. 30,000 is the free flop pot. And the breeze blows both them by. I feel like he has to bet there. Check, check. Yeah. I mean, you can't put your opponent on an ace. You got two overcrosses there in the middle pin straight draw. It's a big card for both players. Jez has a straight and flush draw, and Kalmar knowing that his hand's the nuts if Bailey doesn't check. have an ace. Check. check, check. No. I mean, the eight is, I mean, that pair is not high enough to give a free card. Is Scally thinking... Uh, this is like two heavyweight boxers. They're all doing fancy footwork, but nobody throws <laughs> a jab. This could go on for 108 rounds. <laughs> it does look that way, doesn't it? They're jabbing and shadow boxing, but... Nobody really tries to hit the other. Oh no, Jez, no. Not a bluff again. 25,000. Thank you, sir. Oh. May I have another <laughs> one? It, it does seem like this is Scally's strategy. Uh, this is why he gave the free card. Uh, he'll, uh, Jez has bluffed every river. Yep. It doesn't work, so you need that. to change the <laughs> strategy. <laughs> <Except> again. <laughs> Giving you tubes for nothing. Oh, Jez is, is hating himself right here. Oh it's like God. wearing a hair shirt. Again. And and Kalma, he, he's giggling. <laughs> yeah, he, he can't. <laughs> I just, just gotta love it. <laughs> Normally when you slow play that, you miss it completely, don't you? You yeah. don't really hit it that well. I need to flush or something. Okay. Jez from the button again. And it uh, looks like he's taking a race, and he hasn't... No. Call. Oh. Race. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> 25,000 more. This is the first decent hand Bailey had in a while. He's been getting calls. really bad starting hands, so... He's called quickly. I understand why he calls. And the raise was enticing. Only 25,000 yeah. more. Yeah, the great pot dogs. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. This is all over. Yes, it is. Bailey's been waiting for middle pair for a long time, so he can yeah. put some chips 40, in the middle. I mean, the right play here is to come over the top for sure. <coughs> you slow play, man, yeah. And Scali will try and talk him into it. Asking him, are you slow playing? <laughs> He's sitting with the kings himself. Right. I'm all in. Not 40 more, right? Minimum yeah, raise, all, all in. in. I I'll take that off, yeah, thanks. I, I don't know if the re-raise is big enough to even take Bailey off the cards if he saw them. It's 80,000. Yeah. It may be 100,000 more. Yeah, he calls. He's, He's called. Yeah. Uh, Jez Bailey is not all in, but most of the chips in the tournament are in this pot. It is Calmer all in, but with a huge chance to take an unassailable lead. And yeah, then if he wins this one, I think it's almost over. Jack or eight is what Jez Bailey needs to get out of the rabbit hole. <sighs> Diamonds are not going to be a factor. Is it a bad beat? Well, the kings hold. Oh! oh. <laughs> the snowmen have ended it! It's all over. Jazz Bailey, Captain Jazz Bailey going through the semis. And, uh. Yeah, no worries, my Scally basically thrashed him in the heads up and is walking away with a broke ass. Yeah, that's poker. I should have finished it earlier, but. Yeah. Got a bit crazy, like 7 4. That last hand.
The Cowboys and Calmer played the trap well. The money went in on the flop. Bailey was behind, but on the river, the third snowman making it a cold day in Scallyville. Off you go. What an exciting finish. Jez Bailey, congratulations. Uh, what a way to win at the end there. Yeah, well, um, as I said in my uh, earlier interview, I'd rather be lucky than good. <laughs> and that's true. That's the case of uh, that last stand for sure. Uh, early on in that heat, it, it looked like you just weren't going to get going at all. Did, did, did you have a strategy to play very aggressive early? Uh, no, actually, uh, from the beginning, I thought I'd just uh, take it easy and sit back and see how the table developed. So, uh, I sort of usually I'm a lot more aggressive, but I thought I'd just be a bit more uh, cautious. Jonathan, uh, Scally, commiserations. Uh, what a well-played heat. Uh, I mean, from the beginning, with those uh, that four of a kind, it was just like you were all over that table. Yeah, I just, um, just don't get the look at the crucial times, unfortunately. Um, I did get lucky on Tim, so I, I can't complain too much, but I wasn't out of the game then. I still had a well over 100,000 chips if I'd have lost, but it's one of them, there's a lot of luck involved in the game and you've just got to get used to it, unfortunately. Uh, the heads-up match was really exciting. It seemed like both you guys uh, liked your game enough to play a lot of flops. Yeah, well, um, to be fair, I was trying to keep the, uh, the pots uh, smaller at one stage, but uh, he's a pretty good player, heads up for definitely, and I thought that uh, at times it was swinging his way. But, um, yeah, it was uh, quite interesting for sure. Well, Jez, you've tried this format out a couple times. Now you're through to the semi-final stages for the first time. Uh, what's your plan from here? Um, <clears throat> I have no plan, really. I'll just uh, continue and see how the cards uh, turn out and uh, make a decision from then. But no, no definite strategy. Just go with the flow, as I say. Well, best of luck in the semis. It's Captain Jez Bailey through to the semifinals. This has been a cracker of a game. Jez Bailey proved that if you have the skill and the desire to win, you'll be walking away with a seat in the semifinal and a shot at winning the $125,000 prize. Join us next time for more of this. ThePartyPoker.com European Open 3.